The Goat House is back with week seven NFL power rankings. Every Tuesday morning, I rank every NFL team from 32 to one based on how they are currently playing. Let's take a look at the top 32 for this week. Patriots are going to remain at 32 after a loss to the Texans, but I think they have potential to rise up here with Drake May at quarterback, a much more explosive offense. We'll see what they do in a winnable game this week against the Jags. If they win, they will move up. 31, the Browns are going to stay put there. It's been it's been a disaster for them, but they played the Eagles close at least. The defense actually played like a Browns defense. They just do not have enough on offense. 30, the Panthers, they have enough on offense, just not so much on defense. They, you know, they had a chance in the Falcons game, just kind of trying to play keep up the whole time. Uh, the Jags are going to go down a spot after a disappointing outing against the Bears, just getting destroyed in a game that was uh, probably winnable, just really a mess, but... You know, they feel like they could be lower. They did just beat the Colts a week ago, so they're hanging on to that at least, but they moved down a spot. The Dolphins didn't even play. They were on a bye, but it really felt like the Jags had to move down after that performance, so that's what caused that. So the Dolphins are at 28. They'll play the Colts this week. 27, the Titans, they just played the Colts, and they had them beat, it felt like, and they went away from the run, and Levis was awful. They put the game in his hands. It was odd. They had that game wrapped up, and they let it slip away. They are at 27. Luckily, the teams below them uh, are also bad, so they kind of stay put uh, this week. Number 26, the Raiders. Yeah, luckily, they stay put, too, because the team's underneath them, but another bad outing for them. It didn't need to, it didn't have to be as bad as it was, but it was, it was bad against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, Rams are going to stay put at 25. I'll make a prediction that they're going to, as they get healthier, they're going to get better. I still think they have a chance in the NFC West. They're going to get better as the year goes on. They're a dangerous team. They aren't on the level of the teams below them, but right now they have one win. So they have to go out there and prove that prediction right for the power rankings. They have to go out there and as they get healthy, they got to win football games and then they will move up right now. It just hasn't happened yet. So they're going to stay put at 25 giants. They could compete. Uh, but you know, they're not winning a ton of ball games here. The defense has been great. The defensive line specifically. The offense just had to put some points up on the board against a weak Bengals defense, and they could not do that. So that was very disappointing. They're down a spot to 24. Saints are down six spots. They're in a massive losing streak, a four-game losing streak. People were crowning them after two games, which was odd. But, uh, yeah, they had some close games in there, but... I mean, even the defense the last two weeks is start, starting to you know not play as good as uh, you know the first two weeks. The offense quickly weren't playing up to the first two weeks, but now the defense is starting to pitch in there. Not good. Winnable game against the Broncos this week, but we'll see. They have a lot of injuries as well. They're down to 23. The Cardinals, very inconsistent. They're back and forth. One week, they're awful. One week, they're pretty good. Back to awful this week. They did play a good team in the Packers, but this game was over instantly, and then the Cardinals were very sloppy, so... Man, if you're an inconsistent team, it's going to be hard to be ranked in the top half of these power rankings, I'll tell you that. So they're at 22. Uh, good game against the Chargers on Monday Night Football coming up for them. Colts up three spots. Uh, close one. They squeaked it out against the Titans. They probably would have moved up more, but they did just lose to the Jags a week ago. So that's still on the recent resume there. But they are up three spots after a victory to 21. 20, the Jets go down a spot. They played pretty well. I mean, they were sloppy, but at the same time, are playing pretty well against a good team in the Buffalo Bills. is a very winnable game. They are losing right now, so they're going to go down, but you know, can't punish them too much there for that one. Uh, 19, the Broncos. Yeah, I just got completely outplayed by the Chargers, a team they were supposed to be kind of in the same boat with. It just kind of didn't seem like they, they were in the same boat in terms of brand, type of play, style of play, I should say, but... The Chargers were just much better in this game. Uh, they still have some offensive issues. They seem to start slow, even against the Raiders. Luckily, the Raiders are just a really bad team, so the Broncos found a way to win. Oh, you know, Not this week, last week I'm talking about, but yeah, disappointing one. Uh, they are down to number 19. The Seahawks are also on a losing streak. They are down to number 18. They're sloppy. The offense in general is not playing as good as it was early season. They're having a uh, struggle kind of beating the better teams, the good teams. That seems to be a common theme or with teams around sort you know this around this range I guess 17 the Bengals are gonna go up five spots a team that feels like they're better than their record they're gonna have to go out and keep winning though and then they'll continue to move up but a, a good win against the Giants the defense you know the offense was disappointing but the defense played much better than it's been playing so it's kind of a good sign that hey maybe the defense won't be terrible all year maybe it could improve still so they needed that win they're at 17 Cowboys got destroyed by the Lions it, at least they played a really good team. They didn't lose to a bad team, but they got again, they got destroyed. Brutal outing for them. 
defense didn't surprise me really a little. They're very beat up, and the Lions have the best offensive football, uh, possibly. They probably do. Uh, but I was surprised with the Cowboys' lack of offense in that one. They do have that Steelers win a week ago, but not much on that resume. They're down four spots, number 16. Chargers up six spots, a good win against the Broncos. That was kind of an even matchup, but the Chargers just completely outplayed them in that game, so they are up to 15. I'm yeah, I'm curious about that Chargers-Cardinals game on Monday night. It's an interesting matchup. The Cardinals seem to be every other week, so they should show up this week, but they're playing a good defense in the Chargers, who are now ranked 15th. Steelers up two spots. They have four wins. You know, can they beat, like, the the good teams? They do have a win against the Falcons, uh, you know, but they do get some offense going, and the defense, of course, plays great against the Raiders. A good win for them, so they're up two spots to 14. The Chicago Bears go up a whopping seven spots, and I know some people were like, well, have they beat a good team yet? There's a lot of teams like that here. Other teams are losing. The Bears continue to win. They're on a streak. They're looking good while doing it, so, of course, they're going to move up. So it's not necessarily seven spots because they beat the Jags. It's seven spots because they are looking better. They're looking good. They're on a streak. Other teams are losing. But the big thing here is I'd argue they have the best defense in football. If you have the best defense in football and you're winning games, you're going to be up here somewhere. So the Bears are at number 13, and they have a bye this week. So maybe a bad time to have a bye because they're they're hot right now. But uh it's you know, they're going into you know, tra- they got to travel home from London, so I guess that ends up being a good thing. But uh, going into buy on the high note, there they're up a whopping seven spots. Twelve, the Niners get a win against a division rival, which they definitely needed because they've choked some of those away, uh, and they do that. They are up three spots, number twelve. At the end of the day, I'll predict the Niners are probably better. They're gonna, going to be better than the twelfth team, but uh, they got to be more consistent. They got to put teams away. They got to win more football games, and they'll continue to climb. So it's that simple there for them. Uh, they'll play the Chiefs this week. That'll be an interesting one for sure. I saw that they're fa- early favorites in that one, so interesting. Eagles are going to stay put. Disappointing outing for the offense, not for A.J. Brown, though. I mean, he was awesome, of course. Uh, good thing they got that guy back. Defense was solid. They squeaked by the Browns there. They did have control most of that game. They're going to stay put at 11. Uh, Commanders go down four spots. You're yeah, not the worst loss in the world. They put up a fight with the Ravens, and yeah, the Ravens had control. It felt like the Commanders were trying to play keep up, but they were playing keep up there. But just other teams winning this week and looking pretty good was the main result of them moving down four spots. They are still in the top 10. They are very impressive uh, the, the, uh, so far this year, I should say. Uh, number nine, the Bucks are going to stay put. Yeah, they put 51 points up on the Saints. Tough to move them around here. Other teams winning. Some teams looking especially good. There was a little bit of a scare with the Bucks, uh, you know, in the mid part of that game. But uh, you know, putting up that many points against the Saints was pretty impressive. Uh, they've been, overall the Bucks been impressive. The pass defense is kind of the concern, but uh, they they remain in the top ten here at number nine. Number eight, the Falcons are going to stay put. Get by the Panthers. They had control most of that game. It was kind of a game in the third, you know, even through three three quarters there. But offense looks good. Defense clutched up in the end of this game. So, and the Panthers do have a decent offense. So, uh, they're going to stay put at eight. And number seven, the Bills are going to stay put. Thought about moving up one spot. They're kind of back and forth there. Looked overall pretty good against the Jets. They still can't stop the run. That's pretty brutal. And Rodgers did throw you know, a little bit on them. So, their pass defense didn't necessarily look as good as it has been either. Uh, it kind of felt like whoever won that game maybe was a little fortunate. Whoever lost that game, it kind of was going to feel like, yeah, how did things kind of went right? How did you, you know, not win that game? So the Bills were on the good end of that. They're going to stay put at number seven. The run defense is what scares me, but Josh Allen's a bad, bad man. Uh, how about Ray Davis in that game? So uh, interesting team. They should have no problem this week against the Titans, but we, we will see. Uh, Packers, very impressed with the Packers. They're going to go up four spots, number six. Feel like a top six team right now. They're really getting going, especially being home. They look like a dangerous team at home. It's a team, I said it going into the year, and it already seems evident that they're just going to keep getting better as the year goes on. Remember, Jordan Love just came back maybe too early a couple weeks ago. They're getting going. They can win with the pass, the run. The defense looks back, you know, like a good defense with Jaya Alexander back in there. So, good signs. Waiting for, you know, other guys to step up too. Kenny Clark, guys like Kenny Clark, guys like that. So, um, they've been a little beat up at receiver too, but they look really solid. And they're kind of, a, I, I think they're almost ahead of schedule given the injury at quarterback and they're a late kind of season team. So, Cardinals are, they're sneaky too, so to dominate them, that, that was pretty impressive. So they're up four spots, number six or five. Ravens are going to stay put. Yeah, good win against a good team in the Commanders. Just tough to move them up because the teams ahead of them just continue to win and continue to look good. Uh, so the Ravens are at number five. What I like about the Ravens this year, man, I was thinking that during 
Sunday's action was like if the Ravens had last year's team and staff this year, I think they would be the favorites uh, to win the Super Bowl. Like la- during the regular season, they kind of were to some people. If you remember me saying last year, like they're a really good team, I just don't think that team's fit to win the Super Bowl just because the play style and other teams play style in the style of the league. But this year, the style, uh, you know, the. This year, running the football and stopping the run is huge this year. That's what the Ravens do on both sides. Uh, so that it, it really fits th- their play style. So that's fantastic. And they have maybe a better shot this year. Just kind of wish they didn't lose those coaches and the guys on defense for the most part. But, man, Derrick Henry in that offense, Lamar Jackson, has been really fun. So, uh, again, this year fits the Ravens' play style. So that's a team definitely to watch more than just the regular season finally. So that's uh, – it's awesome. So they're still in the top five. Number four, the Texans are going to remain at four. They continue to win, only have one loss, and that was to a top team. Beat up the Patriots. Just really no room to move them up because what the teams at the top have done this year. Uh, the Chiefs went down one. It wasn't anything they did because they had a bye. I just felt, and we'll reveal the top three here, I just felt that the Lions had to move up. Uh, they have you know, dominating a Cowboys team that was kind of turning the page and getting better, getting better on both sides of the ball, just completely dominating them, just having their way with them. They can do whatever they wanted on both sides of the ball in that game. The Lions have the best offense football right now. In my opinion, maybe it's debatable. It's probably not. They have the best offense football right now. You combine the pass game, the run game, the run game's the best. They can do whatever they want there. The, the protection, the run blocking, everything. The defense is making plays. So the Lions definitely needed to move up. I strongly, can strongly consider them at number one as they are kind of the hot team right now after this week. It's impossible to move the Vikings down, though. You look at their, that resume it, on top of being undefeated is pretty absurd. So that's kind of what it came down to there. Um, but the Lions very much impressed. The Chiefs as well against the, the last game against the Saints. Just felt like the Lions had to move up. But, yeah, the Vikings being undefeated and having wins against the te- the Texans only loss, and they destroyed them. They're number four. The Packers, number six. Uh, the Niners, number 12. Uh, you know, the Jets and the Giants aren't, you know, bad wins at all. So the resume is just absurd there. Everyone talking about the NFC North. The NFC North is insane. The Vikings at the top. Um, you know, with the much better wins there. So it's just, how do you move that down? That's where I'm at there. But, but the Vikings and the Lions play each other in Minnesota this week. The winner of that game has got to be number one. So that's you really can't be any complaints there. It's going to come down to it. Uh, who wins that game? And the Chiefs play the Niners. So, I mean, they have a shot at number one too. If they go out there and just obliterate the Niners, maybe the Vikings-Lions game's a little sloppy. You cannot rule out the, the Chiefs to be number one. But if the Niners win that game, they're going to rise up. The Texans, number four, play the Packers, number six. That's going to be something as well. Ravens, number five, versus the Bucks on Monday Night Football. They're number nine. Uh, this is going to be a really good week. So the Falcons-Seahawks going to be a sneaky game. It's going to be a tough week of picks. We'll have our weekly pick show on Tuesday night. It's tonight. Every Tuesday night. And then score predictions on Wednesday. So make sure you check out those videos. Like, subscribe to notifications on so you don't miss any of that content. This is going to be that big week. It's going to be what separates the men from the boys in the NFL of the teams here. Who's ready? You know, who who is that team to watch out for? And I think it's really, yeah, Vikings, Lions, Chiefs, Niners, uh, Ravens, Bucks, Texans, Packers. Those, there's other good games, but those are the games. Like, who, who are the big boys of the league right now as things start to really matter as we get into week seven? Can't believe it's already week seven. So, really excited about this week. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, stay tuned and check out our other content there. It's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.